Hey, do you want a lush and greening lawn? It's not really that difficult. Here are some key practices that I do and you should too. First, test your soil. You need to know your pH and nutrient balance. Otherwise, you're wasting money. Next, identify your grass. Check my link tree for my free turf grass ID ebook. When you irrigate, do it in the early morning when needed and make sure it's a soaking cycle, not just watering the surface. This encourages deep rooting and forces roots to actively search for water in between cycles. Everybody says it and it's true. Try not to mow more than a third of the grass off during a mow session. Otherwise, you will initiate root shearing and reduce carbohydrate reserves, meaning plant food reserves, effectively weakening the grass. Don't mow at the wrong height for your grass variety and level of input you are willing to do. Regular fertilization is important, especially in the fall and spring. Don't think a one and done is going to do it for you. Using a nitrogen rich fertilizer to promote healthy, dense growth needs to be done about four times a year. Aerate your lawn often to improve nutrient and water absorption. Control weeds and pests promptly and responsibly. Don't let them develop seed. Lastly, overseed in the fall to fill in thin spots, ensuring a thick, even turf 